Hey guys, today we're going to install and demo the Monero GUI wallet on Arch Linux. This should be the same exact process on any other distro. Just pointing out, this is Arch, Arch Linux. I'm installing this on today. Um, same deal if you're using Ubuntu, Mint, or whatever else. So we're going here and we are clicking on the Linux 64-bit uh, download. So that's like that's the binary um, already compiled. So we're just going to have to unpack this and run the GUI. So no no packages or anything like that. We're just um, downloading the tarball, unpacking it, and running it directly from the directory. So here we are in, uh, let, let's take a look at this in the terminal. We're gonna jump into our downloads directory, and I'm, I'm gonna increase the size of this in a little bit. I just didn't do it right away. And now that it finished downloading, we're gonna go ahead and move the actual file from our downloads directory right into our home directory. And we're going to go ahead and check it there and we can see it's downloaded right there. So we're going to do B unzip two to unzip the, and there we go. We're zoomed in a little bit better. So you can hopefully see the text better. So we use B unzip two to on B zip it. And now we're going to use tar XVF to on tar it. So now we have a directory, um, a Monero directory right there <clears throat> in our home directory, right? So I'm going to go CD into this and all we have to do is dot slash and run the Monero wallet GUI binary. Just run that file right there. That is going to launch the GUI. Now you, you could also install this as a, as a, you know, a desktop app where you can have a, you know, a link to click on on your desktop. I'm not doing that here. I'm just directly running it from, uh, from the terminal, right? So you can see all the debug output and everything in the terminal. Anyways, yeah, here it's asking me, would you like to create, register Monero desktop entry? Yes. So in the future, I can click on the, a desktop icon in my menu and just launch it. So here I'm going to decide if I want simple mode, simple mode bootstrap or advanced mode. So regular simple mode will just be the most basic simple thing you could do and that's actually what I'm going to select but um, there's also you know simple mode bootstrap where it downloads the blockchain for you that's actually better and probably recommended it does take up a bunch of space I'm not doing that because I'm actually running a whole separate node anyways uh, so don't need any of the advanced stuff I'm just trying to go with the most basic default install also don't need portable mode so yeah I'm not I'm not mining on this host I'm going to do that on a separate host in another video so I'm just trying to get the most uh, simple basic installation for this wallet just to kind of demo things out. So that's why I pick simple mode in this video. And that's basically what this screen is warning you about how, uh, you know, the limitations of simple mode basically. So <clears throat> here we're going to go ahead and just create a new wallet. We're, we're not opening an existing one or, or using a hardware wallet or anything like that. So create a wallet. I'm going to just call it like wallet one, not a super creative name. And I'm not sure what's going on with my keyboard here. I think one of my keys got stuck. So yeah, there we go, wallet one, next. And here it gives you a recovery phrase. Now you, you're seeing this recovery phrase, so anybody watching this video can copy these words that you see on the screen and you can use that to recover. So it's making sure you actually wrote them down so you actually have them so you can recover your wallet if you need to. You do need to save this information, but you need to keep it safe. If somebody sees your recovery phrase, all of these words, they can restore your wallet and have full access to your private keys and do anything they want with your wallet. So if you're watching this video, you can use that recovery phrase. And uh, I, I just clicked on the wrong thing here. Ign ignore this, but... um. <clears throat> Yeah, anyone watching this video, you can use this recovery phrase to restore my wallet and gain full access to this wallet if you want to. So for anybody watching this video, if you do feel like gaining full access to this wallet, go ahead and do it. I think I had I had about nine cents worth of Monero in here at the time of uh, um e he basically, uh, I transferred most of that off too. So I, I probably have less than a penny worth of Monero on here. And he, here I am. Uh, having my key stuck on my keyboard again. Um, anyways, yeah, I the ma max I've had in this wallet is nine cents worth of Monero and I even transferred that off. So you're gonna get like sub penny amounts, but it, it's in there in case anybody does, you know, I'm leaving this public just as an example. And if anyone wants to try to transfer a sub penny amount of Monero off of this wallet after recovering the wallet, um, I guess go for it, it's all yours. But uh, yeah, it, it asks you to randomly fill in some of these words just to make sure you actually wrote the word, the phrase down and you actually saved it. So you don't kind of shoot yourself in the foot and lose access to your funds, right? Cause you need that to recover your wallet if anything happens 
you, you need that that uh, that passphrase, right? Now it's asking for a, a password. This is just the password you're going to type every time you want to connect to this wallet. It's not for recovering the passwords just to access this wallet so no one can just click on it and send stuff on your behalf. So a different purpose from the passphrase, right? So I created a password, gonna to enter this password in every time after it times out for a while or after you start up the, the wallet, you'll have to enter in the password. Um, whereas the passphrase, just to be clear, the, the, the initial uh, key phrase that we, we had to enter in at the beginning, that's for recovering your wallet. You can do that on a fresh new install, completely separate from the password. So now we're just gonna wait for it to sync. All right, so I sped this part of the video up to about 12 seconds rather than, um, I, I think I sped it up by like 20 times or so. So anyways, going a whole lot faster, just 12 seconds rather than a few minutes and almost there, we're gonna be done, yeah, done syncing and I actually cut away and came back, restarted the wallet again. But anyways, this is my wallet after having earned some money that I mined on a separate host. That's a whole separate video that I'm gonna publish right after this video. You're gonna see that one published at the same time, but like minutes after this video, I'm gonna publish that video. So if you wanna see my mining video, go check that one out. But right here, you can see confirmations, how much uh, rewards I received from mining and you know my account balance, um, yeah, total unlocked balance and total balance because I don't have anything. Yeah, it's it's all unlocked, but yeah, 0 0.00027 Monero. So let's convert this to US dollars to just to show you what it's worth. And if you convert to US dollars, that's nine cents. So nine pennies, right? So yeah, that that's uh not. 0.09 us dollars that's all you that's all i received from my mining efforts um just just kind of a demo i wasn't trying to be profitable but there you go that's the gui wallet and that's that's what it looks like with funds actually transferred into it all right so that's it for this video but you should definitely check out my other video where i show you how i actually mined monero and uh you know what how long it took to actually make that how much would it how long would it take to make more if you want to have a little bit more information about how to do that definitely check that video out and also you're going to want to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on our other great tech content we're not just doing crypto stuff we, we are doing we're doing more monero stuff more crypto stuff but we do a lot of linux stuff a lot of tech stuff in general hardware software servers coding electronics robots right raspberry pies all that great stuff if you want that in your feed definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so you actually get notified when we come out with new videos also um you know leave a comment down below and uh maybe give me a thumbs up for this video but that's about it for today so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video